Hey guys, how's it going? Lightside Bill here. It is Monday, so that means it's time for me to do another week in DSP video. I initially wanted to record each day as the day happened and then stitch them all together on a Sunday night or Monday morning, but I kind of procrastinated, so we're going to have to do it all in one chunk. I've also put Rocky in his crate, so hopefully he'll be quiet. I don't know if you guys appreciated hearing him speak up in the other video, but uh, this is my show. My dog needs to be quiet. I also want to say a big shout out to the uh, three people who watched me restream DSP on Thursday. I'm starting to like streaming again, and I have a game in mind that I want to stream, but I also need to finish Final Fantasy VI because that was the game I picked for myself. Okay, so one minute pre-stream done. Uh, let's get in on the week of August 13th, which started on page 3,394. You guys have probably already read my, my little clips here, but uh, the week starts with some good old-fashioned begging. Thanks to Raven's Child for this post. And it's a screen cap of the Twitch chat where he's talking about... If I had a PS4 Pro, it would resolve my lingering issues, like my USB and audio issues. Never mind going back and looking at videos where he actually physically hits his PlayStation. He starts having issues, and you see him get up from the couch. He walks his off camera, and then you hear him just whack, whack, just beat the thing, and then it starts working. Well, no wonder it stopped working in the first place. He's probably got a wire loose or a connection loose or something, which would cause intermittent issues because it's not fully disconnected. But this guy's abusive to his equipment. And then he's saying, hey, plus if I had a PS4 Pro, I could get a 4K TV. I've seen good ones for around $300. We've actually seen what PS, uh, I'm sorry, what 4K TV he bought. It was $380. Uh, oh, and you know, I'm talking about him buying a 4K TV. Does that mean? Yes, he did get a PS4 Pro from an anonymous fan who everyone thinks is called Amazon Prime. The same people who bought him the TV. Um, do you guys notice a pattern of beg, 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 then get the nice things that I want? So if it's either from a fan or DSP is using it as a cover that a fan is sending him stuff. So, and, and that's really strange that he says that because fans will send him money specifically for a PS4 Pro or a game. Remember the $60 donation? Someone was saying it for some Japanese wrestling game, I think it was. And he was like, oh, well, this is coming out in the middle of a lot of other releases. It wasn't on my radar. I can't fit it into my schedule. I can't do anything for it. I'm going to put that money towards my bills. Now here he is also on Monday saying, if tips were specifically saying this is only for an, a certain item, not just the PS4 Pro, then I'd use it for that. But I'd prefer someone ran it by me first. I don't want people sending me random money for stuff I don't need or want. Yeah, right. Yeah, fucking right. You pe want people sending you random money for stuff all the fucking time. And here's what you do. If I say, hey, Phil, here's a donation to go get the... Dark Souls 3 DLC. And he'd be like, oh, I'm not interested in that. I'm going to put that money towards my bills instead. He's done this plenty of times. He, God, it had to have been a month or two ago where he was doing another begathon, or was the Depression, some IRL stream of his, and someone sent him like $200 and said, put this towards the PS4 Pro. And he was like, no, I can't, I can't think about that. I, I have to put that towards my bills. I hope I'm not misremembering that, but I've been pretty accurate so far in these, my Google Doc with all these links. It's starting to work its way into being a, a little bit of uh, DSP, his, his uh, what do you want to call it, librarian, historian kind of stuff. Like someone asked me a question, I saw a question earlier on Kiwi Farms, I was able to reference this and go, do, 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 do. oh yeah, he talked about it here. So... Hopefully I'm not wrong. It was before I started doing this video, so I don't have a link to anything. But uh, he has been donated money, and people said, put it towards the PS4 Pro. And he goes, no, i got to put that towards my bills, man. Um, this probably could go towards uh, DSP's Most Delusional Moments thread. But it was posted in the main thread. 
by Happy Mask Salesman. Oh, I forgot to do this again. Fresh to death. Thank you for this uh, screen cap of the chat. I love your avatar. Uh, I want to give everyone the shout outs because I know people get upset when their discoveries aren't credited. And I feel the same way. Uh, this, I think there's a screen cap from Tevin's stream because I think Tevin uses this same setup. I could be wrong. So feel free to correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm going to assume this was screen capped from Tevin's. Um, I don't know how he got baited into talking about this, but he goes, do you really think Capcom would pay me a dime for anything? Despite my free advertisement for Street Fighter 4, that probably sold them like 50 copies, 50,000 copies of the game. I did again where I said 50K. 50,000 copies of the game. That probably means he made 1,000 Street Fighter 4 videos. The averaged 50 viewers each he's treating them all as unique views and every unique viewer went out and bought a copy of the game because they watch phil play some matches uh you can ignore this sadella was never a mod sadella actually got banned and then unbanned and then he hasn't been seen in four days so um yeah now okay so that's that's just the the lead in to the main event which was the fucking sponsored stream, which was a game called Elo Hell. Elo Hell. <laughs> Ninja'd. Um, because I think Can Bren got, got it. Someone else might have said it before. Um, yeah, Steam Early Access game. You can click on the link here. 20 bucks for Chapter 1. Because it's an episodic title. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 3 to 4 titles coming out. And if each part is 20 bucks, these guys are going to sell an indie game that is like a wannabe telltale thing with a lot of uh in speak, you know, like nerd talk, like talk about MMR and 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 support and they they're even like talking about like even this scene was talking about like using uh Kench as a support for Ezreal? So, like, you'd have to know League of Legends lingo to get this conversation. You know? And then, look, it, you have this, like, you have a, a, a story choice, right? Totally... You know, but, like, when Phil made his decision, it wasn't like it popped up in the corner like Telltale and said, Lizzie will remember that, you know? So it wants to be like Telltale. Then you get into these games that look like this looks like like a wannabe StarCraft, but you only play the game. I don't know how. Like Phil couldn't beat the mini games. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's so terrible. Look at the. I, I I can't shit on these guys too much because they are actually trying to bring attention to the Twitch bounty boards thing, where they're like, "Hey, we have no control over who plays our games on the bounty, and we would like some control over it because they don't like DSP. Someone linked them." Jarvard College. I think someone linked them the, uh, what you gonna call it? The Secret Life of DSP Twitter, the the two minute video, where it was, uh, you know, all the shit that he's done on Twitch, and he's still allowed on the platform. And then these guys are like, "Wow, we have these really this really homophobic, racist guy representing our game and trying to be an ambassador for our game." Uh, let, let's get rid of that. So, is this this is some weird cell shading? I don't know. Um, I I I mean, good for these guys. I mean, I can't make a fucking. I mean, I can't make a game like this. You know, they. Uh, but it just seems like a big meme, and it was hilarious that this is the game that Phil picked, and he was the only one streaming it, and. Uh, oh look, four user reviews. I mean, it's a very relevant game. Who do they link here on the YouTube? Early access review, early access review, early access review. Okay. Um, yeah, so the sponsored stream was a 30-minute pre-stream of him in IRL mode, noth nothing related to the game in the title. And then he took the stream all the way down because he didn't think that the settings would update in real time if he edited them off screen. 
and then he relaunches the, sc- the stream, and he's at his PC, and he's got the game title all already up. So he waited till the last, last, last minute to try to hopefully not get uh, the developers called out on, on who he is. Just like what happened the day before, where he kind of admitted that it was the detractors who got him kicked off the last sponsorship because they contacted the developers of World of Tanks. So... And then he said he tried to say it was a bug or that he never got a Steam key for a free-to-play game. World of Tanks would have been hilarious to watch him play. So, uh, 60 minutes, no snorting. Of course, nothing bad about the game. And then when he was asked, he, he ends the stream 30 minutes early. So he streamed for exactly the gameplay exactly for 60 minutes. So his contractual obligations fulfilled. His views hit... 400 and never dipped below 400, so I'm willing to bet that view bots were used. Um, because I mean, it was just like really. If you look at the charts of how view bots work and how viewers naturally enter a Twitch stream, you get a graph. Uh, can I? I wonder if I could do that. Let's do this in paint. Okay, so a natural. A natural progression of viewers, this is time, and this is views. You, you start your stream, you get your initial in, and then like, it's going to do this, and then you're going to like, plateau, and then as it goes on, you know, people are just going to get bored and leave, and then you're going to end, and of course your viewership hits... You know, when you end, it goes like that. All right. But I I didn't have, I don't have like a real time graph of this. So this is just speculation of what I saw. So remember, this is time. This is views. Uh, Phil starts the stream. 400. 400. End. Now, I mean, it went up and down a little bit. So it was like 404, and then 396, and then 408. But, like, he he just, like, it wasn't quite... I can't say it was this steep, but, I mean, it was definitely, like, a very, very... Um, I'm trying to use Photoshop short keys, and it doesn't work. But it was definitely, like, a very quick rise. Not immediate. Like, there was some gradually to it. And then once it hit the amount that you paid for, it peters out. But people have said that Brightside Viking had view botted his streams before. I wouldn't, I wouldn't bet against uh, any of the other whales view botting the stream to make sure it was a quote unquote success. He does this for exactly 60 minutes, okay? I actually have a tablet, so I could actually write and draw better than this. I don't know why I'm using mouse and paint, but. Uh, whatever it it is what it is and is what it isn't and he kills the stream boom right at 60 minutes so just just dead right okay boom and then uh he as he's le you know like he's getting ready to leave and then he's like they're like dude you still got 30 minutes what you would normally stream so he's like okay i'll do an irl stream so he gets back on his couch turns on the stream again and he's like okay so what do you guys want to talk about and they're like Hey, Phil, what did you think about the game? Now that he's not streaming the game and he's still like, oh, I liked it okay. I mean, it's obviously, I I can't, he didn't even say I like it okay. He was like, oh, I can't say anything because it's still in early access. They're still working on it and I kind of see where they're going for it. Like, man, this guy has shit on like professional fully made games. That, I mean, like still got updates like No Man's Sky. You know, he shat on it early and he shat out on it late. Like, he has no problem giving his opinion normally on things like this. So, it, it was obviously fake side Phil. He talked a lot, which was good. Like, but you don't see that for his normal stream. So, he was, he definitely wasn't lazy, but he was definitely very fake. That would probably be a positive turning point for him if he moved towards more of that stuff. Because there are a lot of popular Twitch streamers who adopt a streaming persona because it gets the views and the views get the money. He doesn't want to do the things to chase the views, but he still wants to get the money like the big name guys. So it's, what's the Snort Burnell clip? It's so fucking funny. It's like, 
It's like minimum, minimum effort, minimum time involved, maximum profits. Exactly how DSP is. He want he doesn't want to invest in anything. Don't even bring up a green screen to him. That'll that'll set him off. So now he's, uh, his rage marathon was on Friday, and he was getting set up for it. And he's still talking about the um, thingy because it was a Patreon or a sub reward or something, right? So he's going to start at the same time. Thank you to actually again. And he's going to stream one hour longer. But he's still probably going to include a one to one and a half hour pre-stream and at least one 20 minute pee break. Uh, spoiler alert, he did exactly a one and a half hour pre-stream and then a 20 minute piss break before he started with I want to be the guy. Um, like this guy has started to like fucking fall into a formula where we don't even need to watch the event and we know exactly what's going to happen. Um... I don't know. Uh, sponsored stream will not be uploaded to YouTube because of contra contractual reasons. I did do a 30-minute IRL stream afterward that is uploading right now to the King of Hate vlogs. Uh, so be sure to check when it goes live. Uh, and Master Havoc, why won't it be uploaded? This guy, I, I, I'm going to say it in this video. This guy is part of a fucking theory that I have where he, DSP, and Sidella, and in their brand of exceptionality have some sort of fucking fetish for hurting women. Phil sexualized the scene in The Walking Dead where Clementine had to stitch her own arm. It was very, very disgusting, very disturbing. Master Saru Watari's fucking Twitch is, or Twitter, not Twitch, his Twitter is full of girls in boxing or wrestling uniforms beating the shit out of each other. And it's not just like, a pin, uh, like a sexually suggestive pin with their crotches rubbing together. I mean, like getting slugged in the face and teeth pop, teeth and blood coming out. It, it, it and everything in between. So, like, like, like topless girls getting punched in the tits. Really weird, weird guy. So you got Phil and sexualizing Clementine, who's an adolescent in The Walking Dead. This guy and his Riona fetish. And then fucking Sidella during Eternal Darkness, who was like, he was like chatting about genital mu uh, mutilation. I tried to bring this up to other people, and I think a lot of people like tilt their head, like, "What the hell are you talking about?" So it's maybe, maybe I've got my fucking exceptional hat on right now. But this guy, like, this guy is a piece of shit among shits. So just, just throwing that out there. This, this guy, I'm. I'm surprised he doesn't have his own thread yet. Maybe he hasn't become fucking lolcow worthy, but I'm, I've had debates with him in the Twitch chat too. He likes to do a thing where if you try to prove your point and draw examples to the point, he says you're moving the goalposts. That is auto his automatic defense every time he loses an argument or is starting to lose an argument. He says you're changing what the argument is about. When you're the one who's staying on topic. Th uh, that happened to me during the fucking Half-Life 2 playthrough. And I was like, alright, I'm going to write you off. And then I saw him uh, responding to some other stuff. And I was like, oh, maybe I should follow this guy. And then I had to unfollow him because I didn't want my Twitter feed full of girls getting bruised and bloodied. So, yeah, I don't follow the the uh, the uh, whales because they they will give you a brand of autism that uh, is really okay. I've I've spent too much time on fucking Master Havoc, Master Saru Watari. Tuesday, August fourteenth, starts on page thirty four hundred. Rocky, I will let you out as soon as I'm done. Hashtag free Rocky. Um. I love this picture from PJ Souls. Like, I don't know where this person got the uh, screen cap of Phil's setup, but he's got this ottoman which he kind of uses as a table. He's got—is it two closets or does this the door in? So he has to squeeze in, squeeze over here, and sit down. And this is taken from the perspective of the computer. The computer's somewhere like right here in the real life. Here's the TV and the laptop set up right here. So with the laptop set up like this, he has to lean 
to watch the gameplay, there's a Switch. I, um, there's this Astros, and we still have the Astros. This is a nice mic stand. And then is his webcam on this? So he's just got all these fucking things in his point of view, and then his gameplay is over here. Water. Uh, is that... I don't know what that is. That's replaced by the Kickstart. And then there's the Liana pillows, which he still hasn't gotten rid of, by the way. Um, what is the thing... Jeebus, that looks like a setup you'd whip up on the fly before you finish moving in. Uh, that room has to smell absolutely horrid. Uh... The TV in his room is angled is not angled correctly. It's absolutely horrid because he's sitting at this angle, right on this plane, this diagonal, and then the TV is on this one. You know, so he's not getting straight eye to eye. It's not his eyes aren't perpendicular to the viewing surface. I let's get paint up so I I can try to show with lines what I'm trying to say. His couch is like this, and his TV is like this. So when his fat ass sits right here, his eyeballs are doing this. You know, these lines aren't the uh, same distance. You know, and I, I, our eyes are supposed to work in such a way that they, they can tell depth. I, I don't know. I, I don't think this is good for his eyesight. I'm not a fucking optometrist, though. But what um, Dave Side Bennett is, I think, trying to point out at is what Phil needs to do. So what Phil needs to do is he needs to get his TV to be like this so he can sit his fat ass here and then his eyeballs can look directly at it. You know, this is a, a, a 90 degree angle. For natural purposes, so you don't get eye strain because this guy fucking complains that his eyes hurt, his hands hurt, his everything hurt, his back hurts. When he's sitting, he's sitting on his ass playing video games. I don't know what this drawing, this drawing out of context, would look like. Um, this is the the TV, and this is the the love seat, uh, and this is the gout. Okay, I'm having too much fun with that. Uh, moving on. Uh, this was hilarious when he started his Tuesday stream, and I'm so happy. <laughs> Fresh to death again. Always an amazing contributor. Uh, Phil pops into his chat. Uh, hello? And it, now, normally, what this motherfucker does is he says he's going to stream, at, let's say, 6.30. But what's going to happen is at 6.30, he's going to play his music for 30 minutes, no talking, let his slideshow play. And then at 7 o'clock, he's going to start his pre-stream, run that for an hour. So now it's 8 o'clock. He's going to play two hours of games and be like, oh, okay, bedtime, guys. 7 o'clock, you know. But, uh, yeah, hello? Anyone here? There was narrator. There was nobody there. <laughs> and I love how they get it. You're currently banned from this channel. <laughs> So there were obviously people there. He's just he's just banned everyone. There's there's no one to talk to anymore. Um, he's still talking about PS4 Pro donations. <laughs> oh, what was it? No, oh, I missed it. Best Piece Puzzle said this. Uh, I have no viewers and must beg. <laughs> it's a, obviously a play on uh, I have no mouth and must scream. But um, yeah. Uh, this is probably an actually post. Yeah. Um, Lord Lamb became a new mod. I think we've already talked about that. But uh, what was the mark he was talking about? Oh. Um, he got about $1,000 in cheers and another 50 gifted in subs to go before he hits that mark. Oh, he's talking about Godly Anal who gave 10 subs. Um, so Mr. Piggy, oink, 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 is saying that this guy's going to become a new mod because he gifted 10 subs. And actually was comparing him to uh, Anana Bunny who does about $1,000 in cheers and gave 50 subs. Uh, Phil should be real thankful for those gifted subs because they're the only new ones today. He's currently at 536 subs. Remember when he hit 
the fucking sub tier one sub goal on like uh, August second, and then the tier two sub goal on August third. Yeah, now he's already back down to five thirty six. So he's under the the tier two goal, um, and he would be ten further down without the, those gifted subs. So he'd be right like right on the hair of. Uh, 525, the tier one goal. Um, seven subs today, seven resubs, uh, three Twitch subs, ten gifted. Three Twitch resubs. Actually, I don't know how this breakdown is. Um, but let's not get into that. Uh, now, this is wh why I didn't want to give the uh, ELO Hell guys too much. Um, Thanks to Piece of Shet for this screen cap. Uh, Exato Games is the developer. I don't want to give these guys like too much shit because they did say, hey, we don't support Dark Side Phil um, playing our game. There's things that he's done that we've been made aware of. We want Twitch to be made aware of them. It's completely autom automated. There's nothing we can do. So it makes me wonder how the detractors got World of Tanks pulled, but we can't get fucking ELO Hell, a game with four user reviews... Too good, too bad, with one developer response? Okay, guys. Ooh, how, GG. Uh, so I don't know how he didn't get, um, they couldn't do anything about it. Holy shit, I've gone 26 minutes, it's only Tuesday? All right, we're going to have to, uh, good thing sh shit is pretty quick until we get to Sunday. Um, the last thing on Tuesday was Phil, def or I'm sorry, Sedella defending, thanks to Piece of Shit very hard again, uh, Sedella defended Phil really hardcore to Exato Games. Um, and I want to take a moment to say, I had a really long conversation with Sedella because I responded to Sedella's post. And long story short, I don't care if people support Phil, I just wish Phil was a good guy. You know, I... Well, maybe I do care if people support Phil and he's not a good guy. I was... I don't know. Sedilla was like, oh, we people make mistakes, we're only human. I'm like, yeah, but this guy keeps making the same fucking mistakes. Keeps making poor financial decisions, keeps making racial jokes, keeps making homophobic jokes. Those aren't mistakes. Those are the, his true beings. And then Sedilla said that I was attacking him and harassing him and compared himself to Donald Trump, just like how he's compared DSP to Donald Trump in the past. Really strange how he goes to Donald Trump a lot, and also very strange how he goes to Donald Trump a lot while also hating black people. Hmm, makes me wonder if this guy's alt-right, or an incel, or both. Um, I'm willing to bet all of that. Uh, I'll give you a winner rating too, buddy. Um, yeah, I didn't post on the farms for a week because I was like, oh, maybe I broke the touching the pool rule because I talked to Sedella on Twitter. But uh, I didn't bring any attention to it. Um, yeah, uh, Wednesday, August 15th. Uh, page 3,403. Uh, more hypocrisy comments here. Uh, let me s zoom in for you guys. Uh, Madden stream is now live. It may be the last time I play as I suck at the game and seriously have little interest, but you all seem to enjoy my suckage, so here it goes. He still hasn't figured out that his viewers come to see his salt, to see him rage, to see him struggle. He's playing Dark Souls 3... I hit the microphone again. He's playing Dark Souls 3, and he's getting, like, 500 to 800 viewers, okay? Like, people like to see him fail. He wants to show up and, like, pub stomp and win and glow and do his goat laugh. His little, no, I can't do it. It's a, it's a really heavy, nya at the, nya. But, um, but, yeah, to say I suck at the game and have little interest. But your, your fans have interest, so you should do it for the fans. Who is this guy? Brian? I've seen this face before. Uh. Anyways, so he's he, he probably gave up on Madden that day. We're approaching 30 minutes, and I'm, I'm only not even halfway through the week. Um, so Bruno Mattei did some research on the Wolverine figurine. Phil, he was guessing would have to be 12 to 14 at the time. So obviously old enough to know better is, is the number one thing. And the number two thing is this eBay is for about $60. Feels bad, man. Uh, the first edition probably was uh, $70. So um, this was great, too. Um, 
Thank you to at Yanu for the screen cap. Uh, Philippa Friesel has tipped you $50. Phil, I would feel worried in regards to Exato Games talking to Twitch about you since you streamed their game. This will ruin your sponsorship chances. He did not read this. He didn't even fucking address it. It got memory hold so fucking fast that, uh, like, no one said, like, no one said anything. It, like, people were going, like, uh, I think it was during restreams, people were like, uh, is Phil going to talk about this? Phil going to talk about this? Phil, you missed a tip. You missed a tip. You missed a tip. And he's like, no, I didn't. I'm, I'm caught up. Like, tried to memory hold this so fucking hard. He did not want to talk about this thing. I mean, he didn't even go, like, to say, oh, we can't talk about detractor stuff here. Skipped that in entirely. Um, <sighs> Dragon Killer, Laughing Archives. This is another great DSP historian. Um, where is this? Uh, the new face of creation. What's the point really gifting subs will drop anyway? Like, his Twitch needs real growth. Um, Weeb Dumbass says, Phil gets... Two dollars and fifty cents, though, will drop to four twenty. Obviously, uh, Anani gifted thirty-eight of them. The new face of creation doesn't matter. He needs new people to support. It's only his hardcore fans does the support. Dark side Phil. Oh look, it's the same negative person being negative again after being told a million times not to. What a surprise! What did I do? Says the face of creation. Dark side Phil. Support is support. Some is new, some is ongoing. It's all good and welcome. If you have problem with that, leave. I will not allow you to sit here and shit on people who are being generous. It's not people who are being generous. It's a person, a singular person. This is support from one person, and the new face of creation is trying to help you grow. Uh, Tevin talked about this on the on his stream today, where if you go back in time to two years ago, when he was just starting out on Twitch, actually maybe only a year ago, and he only had like six million followers, and he was getting... Uh, 300 to 400 people in the morning and 200 people in the evening. And you fast forward to today where... Oh, shit. I think I got my numbers mixed up. Today he has like 7 million. So a year ago, let's say it was 2 million. But you, you fast forward today, it's like 7 million. And it's still going like 400 people during the day, 200 people at the night. But because he has his chat on follower-only mode, people show up, troll him get banned, make it a new account, and follow him. So his followers keep going up and his views remain stagnant. He, like, if he, need, if he expands his viewing base, he can get more actual returning subs because Anana Bunny is going to leave just like Jezel did, just like Brightside Viking did, just like I, I'm sure that there are whales who don't support him anymore who supported him in the past. So, but no, like... A common theme among Dark Side Phil is he only thinks in the immediate setting. He thinks nothing about future growth. Uh, Elo Hell's devs have shown the absolute toxicity that DSP is. They try to make it positive. Um, I don't know what thing they were forwarded again. Thanks to Fresh to Death again. Um, he called the trolls mentally challenged. Uh, these guys say mental illness is a serious issue. We do not condone this sort of behavior regarding Dark Side Phil and encourage anyone needing help within the community to reach out to at Anxiety Gaming AG for support and resources. They are a fantastic organization that has done much for gamers with mental illness. I actually looked up what these guys do and gave them a follow. I, I want to try to get their voice, their message out as much as possible too because there's been a lot of gamers who come out and talk about my depression and it's all related to not getting good views or people leaving them negative comments but not about like actual mental illness and then for Phil to use his depression as a shield to try to avoid criticism while calling his critics mentally ill is absolutely sickening behavior so this is uh, the I I shot on him pretty hard earlier because I don't like their game and I don't like their model for the game. I don't I believe in releasing a game with uh, DLC story modes that are probably going to be the same price as the base game. So, um, yeah, I'll shit on them for that. But I, I like how they handled the Phil situation. Um, also, remember that guy, Godly Anal, who we were talking about was going to be the next mod? Um... Uh, according to actually, it looks like Ye Gifter of 10 subs either deleted their account or more, more likely was brought to the attention of Twitch as their account is now gone. 
So that's that's amazing. What am I looking at here? Oh, whatever. Um, Swaggins offers to help moderate Phil's chat because Phil does this thing where he's like, "Ugh, I'm I'm gonna kill We Happy Few because I'm not I I'm not having fun with it." So he bore quits the game, uh, and then he's like, "What What do you guys want me to play?" And and Swaggins is like, "Hey, why don't we run a poll, and I'll buy the game that wins the poll." And so he mentions like Dead Cells, and I'll give you twenty five dollars to buy Dead Cells. Uh, oh, 20... Yeah, he, he cheered 25 bits to get this message read, too, to make sure it was read for cert, for certain. Um, yeah, so Swaggins offered to donate the $25 to purchase it if it won. He read the cheer out loud in its entirety and literally didn't respond to it. One of the largest donators offers to pay for another game if there's interest, and he can't be asked to even say, no thanks, man, but thanks for the offer. Holy cuck. Like... D Amazing that Anana Bunny can gift 80 subs and get Night in the Woods played with no chat input. And Swaggins is offering to bring interaction in by running a poll for DSP and buying the game for him so that it's no skin off of DSP's back because he's on the verge of financial ruin, even though he just got a PS4 Pro and he's buying a 4K TV. Verge of financial collapse. He's got to think about bankruptcy. You guys got to step up if you want hit to see him keep making videos. Oh, and um, he's also thinking about going back to shorter videos because he can play more ads on shorter videos. Thursday, August 16th, page 3407. Um, this I love this graph because this is his Patreon graph where, remember the, the patrons got to choose what game Phil would play, and Phil would play the game? Well, he... I guess there was a vocal minority of people who were like, oh, like Danganronpa and Persona and these other weeb Japanese games keep winning, so I'm not going to do Japanese games anymore. So, between... Pro I don't know what this spike was, right? But this was a good spike, right? But then there's like a hard fall off when he says, I mean, you can see this just straight down arrow, um, probably from 1300, if this is 1500, straight down to 1000, no Japanese games, under 1000, Begathon, you know, one month, right back down. You know, he, it, and all of a sudden, like, he, he, plays Persona 5, finishes Persona 5, likes Persona 5, goes back, finishes Persona 3 without a, a, a Patreon choice reward or anything. Like, how could uh, how could he say that his audience hates JRPGs? When you get rid of Japanese games and your, audi your, your uh, support structure completely collapses, right? They liked JRPGs. You... Or some Volca minority just said they didn't. So, uh, this is great. Thursday, Sedella gets banned. Uh, I wonder if we'll have the chat for this. Uh, if you only check the mega threads, Sedella acted like a North American ape today. He told a regular that he fucked their mom and tasted her period blood. He got timed out, but Phil let him come back 10 minutes later. And then Sedella said, Oh, I'm going to take some time off. Bye, everyone. Sad face. So, he self exiled himself, anyways. I'm kind of doing a speed run of this week. Um, oh, and Thursday was where he beats Nyx on Persona 3 on easy difficulty. Even after dying twice, he plays Street Fighter Anniversary after. Um, spoiler alert, he complains about lag the whole time. What I noticed, though, when he played Third Strike, sometimes when Phil is calm, he presses his keys and you can't hear it. But then when Phil, like, fucking spurgs out during the game, or when it's getting more intense, you can hear the clicking... And he was complaining about lag, but I, I shit you not, you could hear this and immediately, like, let's pretend he was playing Hugo. Like, he'd do a leg sweep, and then it was, like, instantaneous, instantaneous, instantaneous. And Phil was saying that there was lag. I don't buy it. We don't have a, a, a controller cam, but when he gets intense and he's, you know, spurging out and 
tapping real hard, like I'm using my keyboard as an example here, you know, you can see that the cursor jumps like instantaneously. I mean, it was seriously like sweep, sweep, sweep. And then Hugo went kick, kick, kick on the screen, you know. And Phil's trying to say that there's there was lag and that's the reason why he lost. I mean, we all know it's not lag. We know he's just shit or his reflexes are going because he's old. But it was like hard, like pretty mind-opening evidence at that point too. Um, I don't have a link to any of this shit. Uh, this was my personal observations. So, okay, we're coming into the weekend. Friday sets up for the Rage of Thon. Um, he didn't set up for this big event that patrons voted for or like he got a shit ton of subs for. Um, but an hour into the stream is when he starts setting up OBS. And I Wanna Be The Guy is extremely loud. I tried to do it on my restream and when I launched it, it was just like, I mean, it was like the Mega Man theme, like super loud, right in your fucking eardrums. And the same thing happened to Phil's chat because he did no prep work for this whatsoever. He does no fucking prep work. So this precious, se like an hour of the precious seven hours, which we've already lost in two hours to because of the pre-stream and the break, is him trying to set up I Want to Be the Guy. So... Um, I might go back, if no one else does it, I might go back and fucking speed rage, speed rage, speed run through the Rageathon and see if we actually get seven hours of fucking gameplay or if it was closer to like three hours of gameplay and four hours of break because I think he was taking breaks to stir his sauce. No, that was Sunday. I'm sorry. I'm getting ahead of myself. Um, of course, he's struggling with I want to be the guy. He only played it for an hour. Um... His PC can't handle this game. He blames his keyboard. Um, where is... Oh, and then according to Bruno Mattei, um, he bitches about using the keyboard where he could easily use a controller emulator program like Xpatter and use whatever he wants. Yeah, I'm not one of the sponsored streamers of the brand new fancy keyboard. I'm using this dirty two-year-old old... two-year-old two HP keyboard piece of shit. Then he nonchalantly asks for a new keyboard. Maybe a fan did get him a, a PS4 Pro if, he's, if he feels like uh, he can ask for new equipment like a, like a keyboard. Um, I've got a Black Widow Ultimate from Razer. I got this shit like three, four years ago. Um, like some of the keys are starting to wear off just through use. Um, and the issue with the shift key is I, I tried to pry it off to clean it and I, I broke a piece of plastic. So that was my fault. But otherwise... This thing's been a tank. Good investment of $100. Or was it a good Christmas present? I can't remember. Uh, it even has macro keys, which I don't even have programmed. But I have that option. And it glows, so it looks sexy. Um, oh, can, I forgot. Can I change the color of the glow? Oh, no. That, that just turns off uh, the Windows key. And I can turn off the light, too. Oh, okay. Very cool keyboard. Um... Shameless plug. I actually am not a sponsor for Razer, but I would be in a second if they wanted me to. Um, sorry, there was a little bit of no stuff there for me. Uh, I'm not a sponsored... The other thing that's hilarious about I'm not one of those sponsored streamers. Monday, he just did a sponsored stream. So, and he's had chair sponsorships in the past and loot boxes sponsorships. He's just really shitty with keeping sponsors or finding good sponsors. Uh, the Rageathon's pulling in big dollars, guys. Uh, actually does the breakdown for us, and he gets a $1 tip and a top cheer of 200 bits, which is a top cheer of $2, and then totals about $25 in cheers with a whole two subs. Actually, this was posted at 2.45 p.m. on Friday, so there was a little bit more to go, but um, he's I, this is, what, two hours into it? So maybe an actual hour of gameplay? Um, there's an actual final number from actually later on. Uh, someone bought Phil a pro. It's supposed to come today, but the Phil person didn't give Phil a tracking number. And then it shows up, and they can't leave it at the door. It's supposed to arrive today, and I mean August 20th. I'll talk about it in the next week. Um, this was fu this was fucking hilarious. This is DSP. Uh, is this God Hand? I don't know what game this is. 
I'll, I'll be honest, some weeb shit, okay? He's he's playing on Newgrounds or some flat... It's not Newgrounds. It's some Flash website, right? But he films the browser capture. There's ads playing in the video, and he just puts his camera over one of the ads. And then you have the menu to the other things off to the side, right? Here's Tevin, where he does a screen capture and cr uh, crops this. Because you can do an alt click. Maybe I can do it here. If you do alt click in OBS, I still have my monitor captured because I'm doing monitor capture when I do these videos. But I can crop what gets reviewed. Right? Because if you normally, if you do it normally, then all you do, oh, uh, hang on. If you do a normal click on the corner, you just scale the sides of it, right? Just like that. But if you do an alt click, you get to crop it. All right? So there, there's your, there's your uh, OBS tip of the day. Um, yeah, so of course Tevin knows how to do this because Tevin's a real streamer. And uh, Dave just proves how much more of a boomer slash zoomer he is because he doesn't know how to use the software that he fucking uses. And to be honest... Uh, I didn't know how to do this recently. I knew how to do it in the old OBS. I didn't know how to do it in OBS Studio, the new version. But um, way easier to do it in the new version than the old version. So uh, very cool. The other thing that Tevin does, I still don't know how to do this. I need to look it up. But he does a nice zoom on DSP's webcam because DSP shrinks his webcam because he's afraid of looking old or something. I don't know. Uh, okay, here's the Rageathon numbers. Uh, 13 subs. So two real subs after accounting for gifts. So the uh, gift giving keeps on going. Uh, and then further down, uh, the finale of the Rageathon. Again, thank you, actually. Um, Phil, you were winning a ton in Street Fighter V. I'm surprised, too. This is Dyrick, who I think is actually... Uh, development, developmentally exceptional. Uh, final tally for the Rageathon: 72 unique cheers, 197 cheers. Uh, average cheer was 52 cents. Final bit total is 102 dollars and 26 cents. 14 subs. Uh, six of them were gifted. Uh, known sub money is 35 dollars. Uh, Twitch range is $137.26, maybe $10 to $15 in tips that I saw. So the Rageathon netted Phil about $150, $160, basically the same as any other day. So much for making a big special event, Phil. Uh, Saturday, August 18th, three, uh, page 3,414. Um, this is exceptional. There's a subreddit called DSP Discussion. And this is a throwaway account. Tevin should be beaten up for the slander he commits against DSP. Uh, Sedella, is is that you? Edit. We got a detractor detracting from other from the detractors. So uh, yeah, this guy got banned from Reddit. Um, you can follow that thread where he starts posting in furry boards. That's another wonderful form of autism that comes after uh, that follows Phil. Uh, DSP running out of cool things in his 30s. I love this post about Soap Queen. It's not really news, but it's... Um, DSP probably didn't ever build PCs or have LAN parties. He just latches onto whatever is cool or was cool in the time frame he's discussing. High school, he's the tall guy nobody messed with who was smart without studying and got the babes. College, best parties getting completely trashed and also got the babes. Also custom PCs and LAN parties in the early 2000s when they were all the rage. Yeah, because I did that in high school. Phil is older than me, obviously, by like 10 years. Uh, late teens, early adulthood, a professional level fighting game player who's better than his peers. I, I, he, he is a good fighting game player. I will give Phil that credit. He is a shitty sport about playing games, though. Late adulthood, full-blooded Italian man, just like 90% of the people in Connecticut claim to be. Also has a sweet young girlfriend uh, who likes those big, strong Italian men. Later adulthood, successful business owner with a nice house and a beamer in the garage. Now... My legacy is the best thing he can do. I guess my girl to a lesser extent. He's run out of cool things to pretend he has or is. Winner post. 
Uh, all right, now we get to Sunday. This was yesterday. It is a saucy Sunday. Yeah, we're using those alliterations to describe our stream. Thank you for Kebab for you getting the DSP tweets. Important update on Sunday's schedule. It is now a saucy Sunday, which means that the game, whichever game wins the poll, will be started on stream, but a little later than usual because I have to make my sauce. I will. I intend to start by 1130 a.m. to 12 p.m. Pacific time and then stream for five plus hours into 5 p.m. Pacific. He took a break every hour to, to stir his sauce. And again, if he, st I don't, I didn't watch this, but if he started at 1130 a.m., I get, that means he turned on the stream at 1130, streamed his slideshow for 30 minutes. So now it's 12 p.m. Then he does an hour pre-stream. So you get four hours of gameplay tops minus whatever break he took every hour. I don't know, man. Uh, this was the poll for Sunday's stream. Uh, so this finished Saturday night, but we talked about it on Sunday. But um, yeah, they picked Dark Souls. This is many people stated they are sick of. Uh, this is worst brought by the way. Who posted this? Uh, many people stated they are sick of watching games he's already played to death. That's our variety streamer. This goes for, and maybe especially. The Dark Souls series, but it will probably win the poll. Surprise, it did. I guess some sick individuals want to see him and his audience suffer. Uh, now look at De Dead Souls. Dave, Dave never heard of Dead Souls until someone suggested it. Dave mocked the game for being, oh great, another Metroidvania and explaining something like, people think Metroidvanias are boring to stream. They are bored. I tried a few of them and they are bored. That's why I never put a Metroidvania up after that because they're bored. Uh, <laughs> an essay about why they're bored. I didn't click this. Dave is born to watch. It's not the game's fault. Yeah, this is another fucking, fucking Dave meme where he thinks he's all the rage, and people are coming to hang out. But if the Dave's if the game's boring, they won't stick around. You can fucking watch Tim the Tatman for an hour playing nothing. Tim the Tatman pulls in great numbers playing World of Warcraft, a game that I think looks like you you are watching paint dry. Is how exciting World of Warcraft is to me. But he can pull in buku numbers when he does that. So it it it's nothing about the stream. It's all about the personality. Uh, let's see. I uh, have to delay the stream to make sauce. Dark Souls 3 it is. I'm making a pot of sauce today, so it'll be on later than usual. Stay tuned here for updates when the, the, the fun will begin. Wow, a game you've already played. Can't wait. Uh, I love nothing I can do is post because they get the tweet and they get a good DSP reaction too. Uh, there's another one on here, which is the denying the sauce tips. Hey, they call me DSP. I've got some sauce making tips for you. Have a read of this. Uh, Americans tend to cook their sauce too long. They've been fooled by TVs or movies into thinking Italian sauce is simmered all day. When that's only true of meat sauces, if you simmer a tomato sauce too long, you lose all the fresh tomato flavor and end up with something more akin to tomato paste. Um, now, if you've, if you've ever watched the video of Phil making the sauce with Leanna, he puts like three canned of diced, of a, authentic Italian tomatoes in there, mashes it down, then he adds tomato paste to thicken it up. Mine is a meat sauce with 15 meatballs cooking in it all day. And I just fucking love this picture of him. Um, and then someone's also going to say, oh, this is the edit. Uh, I saw this one on Twitter before I saw it on Kiwi Farms. Hey, I've got some sauce making tips for you. Wake up earlier. Netflix won't watch itself, you stupid detractor. LOL. Uh, that's fucking great. Also, he had a big announcement for Sunday. That big announcement is Street Fighter V is going to replace We Happy Few on the night streams because he intended to play it longer and hated it and uh, bored quit it. And now he's doing Street Fighter V, a game that he also hated on. But... um. Yeah, it shocked people. Timbo Slice didn't like it, but um, I get Phil's okay at fighting games, and I think Street Fighter V is okay even if they they made it simpler. I'm not a fighting game player, so I, I have no no uh, no bones in the matter. But um, here we go, hyping up that Dark Souls three stream. Um, we're skipping the DLC because it's just Phil time, not P H I L. It's filler time. The game is just filler time, is what he's trying to do. He's just trying to fill in 
some extra gaps with Dark Souls 3 gameplay. Way to hype up the views. Uh, also, less than two hours into the replay, he's using exploits to get to areas early so he can cheese the game. Uh, I didn't watch this. Uh, I'm, I might make it This Is How You Don't Play Dark Souls 3. I don't know. I've not made it This Is How You Don't Play yet. But uh, an early cheese I can think of is the tree stump skip where you run and jump off of a tree stump and you can get to an area that you normally have to get to after buying an item. Um, that covers that link. Um, but yeah, he had 800 viewers on Sunday. And according to actually, 600 of them were legit with the Tidy Gamer tool. So good for him. Uh, Soulsborne games tend to do pretty well. Uh, and then the fucking Peace Day Resistance to end off the week is the DSP Gaming isn't doing great despite ads returning. Here's how you can help. Well, that's a fucking mouthful of a title, right? Um, spoiler alert. It's a 20-minute video of... Oh, does he leave it on one image the whole time? Oh my god, it's not even... I said this was a slideshow. Holy shit, it's not even a slideshow. It is one... Just one screen of his normal slideshow. Of the new merchandise. So he's not on camera in his black t-shirt. Not waving his arms around. Nothing. Good Mr. Medicare video, by the way. Nothing. All, comma. I'm going to, ha going to make a special video tonight to discuss how DSP... D Gaming is doing since I got monetization back and adopted longer videos overall. Results all are, are, well, financially not great, to be honest. Want to be transparent and get your thoughts on the matter. Here's my thoughts on the matter. This is like the second shift that you've tried to do with your YouTube. You lost monetization. You throw it all to KO Gaming. You're not getting the views right away. KO Gaming starts to build up. Oh, I get my monetization back. All the way back to DSP Gaming. And so you got to shift everyone back over there again. He should have just stuck to one thing all the way through and wrote out the monetization issue. Um, that does it, guys. There was a sneak peek to this week. But, um, yeah, I'm, I'm coming up on an hour. I can't think of anything that I need to edit out of this. And holy shit, look at the tabs. Um, I do want to do a Dark Souls playthrough of my own. Um, I guess I could show the... I drew my own artwork, so feel free to fucking laugh at it, but you don't see Dark Side Phil getting out of a tablet and doing his own thing. So you got your boy Light Side Bill doing the patches squat, and the, the thing that I noticed when I was looking up the, the artwork is uh, the fucking dudes are like super emaciated and their like skeletons are showing through, so that's why his arms and hands look fucking disgusting. Uh, I'm just trying to get that Dark Soul. It probably looks bad compared to the like minor details minor shading of everything else but whatever you don't see fucking dark side phil you know loading up photoshop and getting out his wacom tablet and doing this himself um and i'm gonna do a fucking dagger only challenge so i'm gonna start the thief get the which gets you the bandit's knife and then when i can buy the dagger i'll probably switch between dagger and bandit's bandit's knife um but yeah you don't see fucking dark side phil whipping out photoshop and spending <laughs> two hours doing this uh, not my greatest work, but um, I wanted to do something, you know. I had something more epic in mind, but I could, it, pff, it was going to take too long. Uh, so fuck it. So yeah, there's a, there's a sneak peek to my next uh, video game after I finish Final Fantasy VI. Uh, so hopefully Phil's not playing Dark Souls 3 while I'm playing Dark Souls 3. I don't know. Anyways, if you guys liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you hated the video... Feel free to give me a thumbs down and leave me a nasty comment below. But uh, so far, everyone's been real um, <sighs> fucking brain fart there coming up on the end because I've been talking for an hour straight. Everyone's been real supportive. Uh, subscribers are up. Viewers are up. I really like it. Uh, I, I really hope to continue doing good work for the detractor community, and I hope the detractor community is happy to have me on board. Um, so... Yeah, I, I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video or the next stream, and uh, I'll either talk to you on Kiwi Farms or in an, <laughs> a restream or Twitter. All right, have a good rest of your day or night, and I'll talk to you later.